So what we have here is we have a Pillsbury pie crust, and I've never made a pie this way before, but I have all the ingredients here that I need to make the perfect pie. The pie plate, I have the uh, crust, and I have the apples. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, place the uh, crust into the pie plate like it says to do, and we're going to make this pie together. And it says it's a uh, perfect apple pie, so we're going to try it, see if it's perfect, and hopefully it is. The oven to 400 degrees for this pie. So the first thing it says to do is let the dough get to room temperature. That's the timer telling me that the oven is at 400 degrees. So we're just going to take this out of the package. And we're going to unroll it. And you're going to want to be gentle because you don't want to rip it. And you're just going to tap it down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to peel our apples and move to the next step. This recipe, they tell you you need to get three-fourths of a cup of sugar, which I have. And we're going to mix that in the bowl. And as well as two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. As well as three-fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon and as well as one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm just going to mix that all up together with my little whisk here. And then you need a whole tablespoon of lemon juice, which I have measured out as well, which is right here. And now I'm going to put the apples in, and then I'm going to mix it up. Probably shouldn't use my whisk at this point. A spoon or a fork will be just suffice. And we're going to want to mix it until it's all covered. And then we're going to scoop it into the pie. going to take the apples and the spices now and we're just going to have it dumped in here and we're going to level it out So there's the apple insides, and we're going to mix it around to make sure that we uh, evenly distribute it throughout. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the second piece of the uh, pie crust that was in the uh, container, and we're going to put that on as well.
It was a lot easier to get the first one out, let me tell you. And we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to spread it out. And we're going to be very careful not to uh, destroy it. Okay, and we're going to start over this way. And we're just going to put it on like a blanket. And we're going to bend these together. It doesn't matter if you pinch or if you uh, tuck it under. As long as you press it down to seal it. I'll go around with a fork eventually. You want to go to bake it for 45 minutes. So I'm just going to continue to do this. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once it comes out of the oven. And you're going to want to take a knife before I forget. And you're going to cut little slits in it. Probably four would be enough. Just to give it some ventilation. This is what the uh, pie looks like after 45 minutes of uh, baking in the oven. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.